guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So for today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through some conditioning or warm-up exercises using clubs. So I did this recently with the ball, and I thought it'd be a good idea to show you guys how to incorporate some clubs handling into your uh, conditioning or warm-up routine. If you guys want some tutorials on just specifically club handling, I do have a few videos on that, so you can check them out up in whichever corner it is, because I never know which one it is. But yeah, otherwise you're just going to need your clubs, as well as some sort of resistance band or elastic. I'll link the Ventrelli one I use down below, and you'll also need just a little bit of space. So yeah, once you're ready, let's get started. We're going to start off standing up, and the clubs are going to be connected for this first exercise. So what you're going to do is put the clubs behind your head and keep your arms up, and we're just going to be lowering and raising your body. You can keep your legs slightly apart for this and bring your body down to a 90 degree angle so that it's parallel to the ground. And we'll just do 8 of these. With this one, we're just going to start engaging and warming up the back muscles to take it nice and slow. Coming onto the ground now, we're going to do some single leg V-sits, flipping the clubs under your leg as you come up. So if you're bringing your right leg up, the club in your left hand is going to be flipping under your leg, and vice versa. So this is what it should look like at full speed, and we're going to do two sets of eight alternating legs each time. You want to try to do these ones as quickly as possible to feel more of a burn in your core. Okay, let's flip over onto your stomach for the next exercise. You're just going to put one club behind your head, similarly to the first exercise we did. And the first thing we're going to do is lift your body up eight times, holding for a quick second at the top. You want to think about engaging your back muscles as well as your glutes when you're doing this one. And this is more of a warm-up exercise, so you don't need to bring your body all the way up. Raising your body to about a 45 degree angle should be good. Now just hold up at the top and we're going to stay here for 10 seconds. Keeping your body in the same position, you're going to lift your legs up one at a time, again holding for a quick second at the top, and we're going to be alternating legs each time for two sets of eight. For this next exercise, we're going to grab the elastic and put it around your feet, but you're going to put your feet closer to the middle of the elastic rather than on the ends. You're going to be hovering your body and your legs above the ground and just follow along with me. So you're going to open your legs, flex your feet, point your toes, bring your legs together, and we'll do this twice, and then lift your legs up one at a time for four times. And then with the clubs, you'll be doing rotations for the first part and small flips towards you for the second part. Sorry, that was a pretty lengthy and confusing explanation, but this is what it should look like all together. So that's one set, and we're going to do four total. Your body should stay in the same position this entire time when you're doing this exercise. You should just be moving your arms and your legs. One more time, one more time 
Flipping back onto your stomach, we're going to repeat the same set of exercises just on the back. The first section is going to be relatively the same. The only difference here is that when you're doing the flips of the clubs in the second half, the clubs are going to be flipping away from you rather than towards you. And again, we're going to do four sets of this. For the next exercise, I'm just adjusting my elastic, now putting the ends of the elastic around my feet. So what we're going to do here is two of these half sit-ups, and then open your legs into a middle splits twice. Then with the clubs, you're going to do these flips under your legs for the first part and then mills over your head for the second part. And we're gonna do four sets of this. This is just me doing this from another angle for you guys to see. Okay, let's get started. You wanna to try to keep your legs off the floor for this entire exercise and really engage your core to help you stay balanced. If I had no cash to spend, if I forget we had plans When I feel like breaking down Ooh, you'd be there to hold my head Lost in my head, pull me back to bed Okay, we'll take off the elastic now and open your legs into a middle split. Bringing your arms above your head and holding onto the clubs, you're just going to lean all the way over to one side and try to engage your inner thighs and lift yourself up off the ground and then do the same thing on the other side. And we're going to do this eight times total. You see, I kind of forgot to lift up in the middle while I was filming this, so just keep that in mind when you're doing this exercise and actually remember to do the lifting in the middle unlike me. Okay, now for a bit of a challenge, you're gonna do this lifting and actually just try to hold it there while flipping the clubs in front of you. Try to hold it for eight flips of the clubs. <laughs> okay, great. Take a quick rest and we'll repeat this one more time. Really try to squeeze your inner thighs and your glutes to hold yourself up at the top. Now coming onto your stomach for this last exercise, we're going to be doing some of these full back raises while flipping the clubs. Now the flips that we're going to do are similar to these simple flips towards you, but you want to try to catch them a little differently like I'm doing with my arms up. You can practice this a few times on its own if you need to before actually doing the exercise. But what you want to do is catch the clubs as you're raising your body and then come back down and we're going to repeat this eight times. Like I mentioned, you want to try to catch the clubs as you're coming up rather than catching the clubs first and then raising your body. It was a little hard for me to do this exercise with my back, so just know that I'm not quite showing it properly.
We're now gonna hold here at the top while doing some mills above your head, and we're just gonna hold this for 10 seconds. And we're done! You can now relax your back by coming into a child's pose and just rest there for a bit. And that's it. Great job. And that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found this helpful. Hopefully there was at least one of these exercises that you liked or that you could incorporate into your daily stretching or workout routine. And moving forward now with my tutorials, things might be a little bit different because I have found out I do have a couple small fractures in my back. And so I'm not able to do any of these deep arching movements or major flexibility things involving back flexibility. So I'm going to have to either create tutorials that don't involve much back flexibility or kind of get creative with the ways that I make my tutorial videos so that it doesn't put extra stress on my back. But don't worry, I'm not going to stop making tutorials. I love doing these for you guys and I know you guys love them as well. So don't worry, I'm definitely going to continue making them. I just have to get a little bit creative with how I make them. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on my post notifications and all that stuff if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye!